murdered by her stepfather. It happened more than 30 years ago, but San Antonio paramedic Debbie Moberg has not been forgotten. And it's all thanks to a group of artists known as San Antonio Rocks. Its members placed at least 100 or more painted rocks around a tree planted in Debbie's honor back then at the Thousand Oaks Branch Library. Jesse Degollado was there when Debbie's mother met the artist who suggested what is now known as the Garden of Hope. Oh my goodness. Faye Maisie, whose own daughter died of cancer, and Janie Muniz embraced for the first time in front of the colorful rock garden that brought them together. So I know how it feels to lose a child, but to lose a child to murder, a senseless murder. And then to never find her body somewhere in a landfill more than 30 years ago. This is her place. This is where I come when I want to talk to my daughter. The memorial to Debbie and other missing and abused children now surrounded by color and the imagination of rock artists like Maisie. The time and love that went into each one when he says is overwhelming. People care. People care. Grateful, thankful, blessed. Describes how Debbie Moberg's mother feels about having the Garden of Hope to honor her daughter. It's tremendous, tremendous. I mean, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Garden of Hope. They're giving somebody hope. That's what we all need, hope. Admirers who take a rock are asked to leave one of their own. By so doing, Muñi says, what was created long ago will become a perpetual memorial to young, vulnerable victims. Jesse Degollado, KSAT 12 News.